my finger along the edge of the pack, and you shout stop at any point you want, and that's where we'll stop at. Okay. You look. Can you remember the card? Especially you look. So I'll place it in, I'll place the cards on the table as well. And most magicians, when they do card tricks, they tend to do some sort of counting procedure and then they go, you know, is that your card? It's dull and bone, it takes forever. You know, this is a wee bit dull and bone, but it's a bit quicker than for a typical one. Uh, let me show you something we do. When I snap, one card changes colour right in the middle of the card. <laughs> Changes from black to gold. I don't know if you see that. Or, or so you can see one card is now gold. <laughs> now, that's not necessarily the music, it's the card that you chose, but it would be quite impressive if it was. But what card was the one that you chose? That's not bad at all. Now, on occasion when I do this, somebody always seems to shout out, hey magic boy, can you do that again? <laughs> so I, I will do, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll get rid of the gold cards so that you can see there's legitimately no other gold card in the entire pack. Is that fair? So if I did that twice, that would be another thing. I'll be here with this thing. Same again, just stop me wherever you want. Okay, I'll point out the field of the rest of it. Is it black on the back? It's not a sticker or anything like that. You can check it out. There it goes. Then it goes. Is that fair? Can you still see it sticking out? Then it goes. That happens twice. It's a bit of a miracle. Just like cast the shadow and just snap. One card changes. Just like that. That's pretty cool. One card changes from black to gold. Right in the middle of the pack. Can you pass it? I've been missing, you know, a year and a bit, you know, because of the whole COVID thing, so I need it. I'm just like, it's okay. No, I need it last time. It's okay. Probably the best way I could finish it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's. Uh, I'll try something. There, there obviously is only one gold card. Okay. Then this hand I've got a pack of cards, and this other hand I've got an invisible lighter. And I throw the cards up in the air, for some reason you start to and circle around your head. Now I'm going to set part of them with this invisible lighter, and uh, I'll let you make the decision to which one is it to set part to it. Which one do you think best, the picture cards or the spot cards? Picture cards, okay, so they burn off all the spot cards and leave us for the picture cards. Of the picture cards, We've got the uh, Jacks, the Kings and the Queens, okay? Now I'm going to burn some more cards, I'll let you choose whether we burn the men or we burn the females. <laughs> That's incredibly sexist, I will give you a chance to change your mind. No, no, you don't need to. Okay, so we burn off all the men, which leaves us with the Queen of Clubs, the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Spades, the Queen of Diamonds. I don't think you've helped me so far, sir. Um, and don't mean you think it's a good place, trickery, you can, um, the one that you name, is the one that we're going to keep or burn all the rest. So we've got the Queen of Cubs, the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Spades, or the Queen of Diamonds. Which one would you like to keep? Is that a free choice? You know, you can change your mind if you want. You can backtrack if you want. Free. Okay. On the table in front of me the entire time is an envelope. And so we set fire to all the other cards except for the Queen of Clubs. Now, inside, inside here we have an envelope and there's one card and one card only. And it's slightly charred here on this bunny that's been going on. Wouldn't it be interesting if it actually was the Queen of Cubs and one card that just collectively named? And I did give you the chance to change your mind, but uh, Thank you very much, guys. Guys, I'm going to have to move.